only have to count the numbers in one group. So let's count the numbers. No, I do not think robots are going to take over teaching. When it was presented to me to have the opportunity to be able to have Abby here at B.D. Lee Elementary, I thought that it was a wonderful opportunity to be able to introduce our students to a different type of technology, which would enhance their educational learning. I volunteered to have them in my class. I was excited because I felt like it was an additional resource to help me teach them skills because not all students learn the same way. And I thought, hey, they'll be excited about using this robot. So I volunteered to have Abby in my classroom. I give direct instruction and then the students work independently. I pull a group back to my table that I know needs additional instruction and then I send two students over to work with Abby. And those may be students that need intervention and those also may be students that are advanced and they can go on to advanced levels on Abby. So as far as for the, the differentiation, it's a great way to be able to provide that in the classroom for the teacher because while the teacher's working with the group, then she can also have Abby working with the group. Our school mission is to inspire and to lead our students to have a productive education along with the community stakeholders and the parents by providing a challenging curriculum. By having Abby here, that helps us to provide a challenging curriculum because when the students are actually working on Abby, they have an opportunity to be able to have the personalized instruction that they would also get in the classroom. And Abby can be just as challenging as the classroom work given from the teacher.